Jerry Thompson, Curator of Exhibitions at the Longmont Museum. I'm here at our Agriculture Exhibition. So this exhibition was several years in the making. We partnered artists with farmers. Those collaborations happened over a year ago. We really wanted farmers and artists to spend a lot of time together through the four seasons. Our show is all about scale, trying to capture the scale of agriculture and what that looks like in exhibit. And the pieces are vastly different. I'm standing in front of Patrick Merrill's corn stalk screen. So Patrick really wanted to work with a commercial artist. He has an interest in the scale of agriculture and really what it takes to feed the masses. So he wanted to try to represent the corn that's used to feed kettle to produce milk. This screen actually represents the amount of corn it takes to feed a cow to produce two gallons of milk. And he actually used toothpicks to hold it together. So his plan is after the show comes down, he can actually return this piece to the field. It'll degrade back into the soil and provide nutrients for the next crop. This piece is by indigenous artist, Sarah Sens. She's Chidimacha in Choctaw. So she's actually taking images um, she'll cut them into strips and then weave them into traditional basket patterns that are used by her tribe. So she was partnered with Black Cat Farms. She came out twice, met with them, went to the farm, took images, went through the museum's collection. Um, this map here is actually out of our collection. She went to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science and took pictures of old bison skulls. She also visited Denver Botanical Gardens and we actually sent her roots from the farm overnight, expressed them to her, took photos of them, incorporated them. Yeah, so she'd take all of those and just slice them up into pieces and weave them together. They're just incredibly beautiful pieces and some of the strongest work in the show. This piece is by Nicole Banowitz. She was partnered with Esoterra Culinary Garden. Mark at Esoterra is really passionate about soil health and making sure there's a balance of the right microbes in the soil. So she took that idea and imagined a futuristic fictional machine that would add nutrients and oxygen to the soil. So the gold parts represent worms and microbes that it's putting into the soil and then the white part is the machine itself. She was also inspired by these tubes that they put in compost piles to oxygenate them to speed up the process. So these tubes actually represent those oxygenating tubes. And this piece actually is interactive. So if you go over here, it starts moving and you'll see a microbe come out of the top. So this piece is really giving rise and vision to the unseen world of microbes in a really giant scale.